my garage. It's not too bad, but it's not exactly how I want it to be. So we're gonna try to fix that today, starting with this area over here. So let's go to Lowe's and let's bring Joe. Hi, Joe. Hey. Need some nut, no, we don't need nuts. We need washers, got plenty of nuts already. Apart from the washers, we want some molding to go around the back door because that's been unfinished for a while and I don't like how it looks in the background. And we're starting to build a soft box. I want an overhead soft box. I want it to be big. We're gonna try to DIY it and make it as inexpensive as possible, but also hopefully look kind of nice. So molding and like one by three, one by three wood, wood pieces that are straight, straight and true. Joe agrees. <laughs> yeah. Lots of wood plank options here, but some of them get pretty expensive. I think this is our bin down here. We have uh, just under $3 for eight foot one by three pine. Now we just need to sort through to get pieces that are as straight as we can find. Well, that was bad. <laughs> We got our nice straight pine and we got some molding for the back door too and now we can go and do work. Okay, bye bye. I don't know when they started this handle thing but it does help. Joe likes the handle. Oh, splinters, splinters. Oh, All right, we're gonna start off with the back door molding. We gotta cut some wood, or MDF, not wood. Forearms working hard. See the muscles and the veins pop. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, I've been working for you for like ten years, and you finally <laughs> did that. It's funny. <laughs> oh, it's been unfinished for yeah. a very long time. When Paul says he'll do it, he'll do it. He doesn't say when. It's one of those things. Eventually. Yeah. Eventually, yeah. <laughs> we ended up with quite a big gap here, so Joe's just adding some filler to that before he starts. His renowned cock work. Joe's really good with the cock, so uh, he's gonna be tackling some of that while I prepare for the next stage, which is gonna be the shelf over here. Fortunately, I had some time yesterday to do some early prep on that, so we're using the same shelf or one of the same shelves that I had installed out here before, but it had been outside. It had gotten a little bit of water uh, that leaked on it, so I gave it a new sanding to give it a nice finish. I'm not gonna actually put a finish on here. I just, I like the raw wood. I'm okay with that. But I did also repaint the brackets that hold up the shelf because I had some of those that were black. I had some that were white that I had painted black. The paint kind of chipped away and wasn't that great. So I used the same self etching primer that I used for the original Arctic Panther way back in the day. And that gives them a real nice matte finish. And so we just need to mount some of those, mount the shelf to that. And hopefully it'll be strong enough to uh, put this computer on top of because that's what I really <laughs> want to do. I want to move the computer up there so that I have more space down here for monitors and other activities and also to be able to use this sit stand desk as sit stand mode once more. My foolproof stud finding method. First use a stud finder, find a stud, and I make a little mark. Then I do it like a bunch of times. I make some marks up there, I make some marks down there, I make some marks further down. My dad got me this for Christmas. So then I use this to get like a vertical level, or I guess horizontal level, right about there. And then I line up the laser to be kind of right dead center between all those little X's that I made. And then that gives me reasonable enough confidence to say, okay, there's our center line and that's where we're gonna uh, mount the first bracket. I kind of wanted to make this symmetrical with three brackets on either side and I could do one more over here but we decided to just stick with five. It's asymmetrical. It's fine. I'll deal with it. We got three really sturdy ones over here because I am planning to put a computer up there and I want to have plenty of support. But if we lay down our shelf and we're going to space it out a little bit from the wall so we can put some LEDs back there. But there it is, generally speaking. And uh, yeah, this, this is gonna be like, a, I need to run some wires up here. I'm gonna maybe put a little loom on that. Now we can have some cables managed. And then with the PC up there, instead of down here on the desk, I'm gonna have a lot more flexibility with my monitor setup. So looking forward to that. I'm also very happy that we don't appear to have actually drilled through any wires or anything like that. <laughs> so that's good too, because some of the electrical work 
did run some new wires back down through this wall and there is a electrical sub panel on the other side of this as well. So I'm glad that didn't cause a conflict. Some of you guys in the comments have noticed Paul likes to put things right at the edge, right? They're just this thing. But look at the monitors, you know, TV, you know, whatever. It's always like the other edge though is tucked behind, which means the whole thing is actually leaning against the wall, which means it's like like it's not going anywhere. Which means like this thing just needs one shake for this thing to like fall over here it, for whatever reason, and then the like the other one is tucked behind the shelf. Like it 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 can't do that. Like it can't move far enough that way for it to do that. You see what I'm saying? Makes sense? All right, guys. All right. Yeah. Just to clarify, this is not permanent. I wanted to put the computer up here, but I'm also now recognizing this computer is, is a very large computer. And what I should probably be doing is uh, switching that to a smaller case, something that will rest up on this shelf a little bit more comfortably, or perhaps even something that would wall mount. I don't know, I've got options. But the point is for now, it's, it's safe. It's totally safe. Nothing. What could go wrong, Joe? Nothing. So many things getting done today that I'm like, why Why did it take us so long? I should say me. Why did it take me so long to do this? Like, ah, oh, look, the door. You can just open it, and it opens. I can close it again. It closes. You need to completely empty this out and reorganize it and fit stuff in there properly, but yay! This, this, this cabinet is a cabinet again. One eternity later. A couple days have passed. Fortunately, over the weekend, I had some time to paint the trim that we installed around the back door because it needed some paint to finish things off. And I even had a special helper, my daughter, Hana. Wow, she's getting so big. You're hitting the whole door, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our video. Welcome to our video. She, of course, embellished the job a little bit, but uh, we mostly painted within the lines and it turned out pretty nicely after I peeled off the protective tape around the edges and everything. But now we're on another field trip because you saw us pick up some of the parts for the large overhead softbox that I want to build. I don't think we're going to build it in this video. I'm going to do a separate video, but there was at least one part of my planned build that we weren't able to order online or have shipped because they're larger. Those are some larger pieces of foam board that I'm going to do for the housing around it. So for that, we have stopped by the art supply warehouse. This store is awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. It's really cool. What we want is over here. And these are large foam boards and they actually have up to eight foot long sections. We want black, you know, black because we're building a soft box and we're gonna line the inside with some reflective aluminum tape. I originally wanted Joe to come and pick these up, but his car's not large enough. Since we have my truck, uh, we can maybe get a couple of these because these are actually eight feet, eight feet long. And then we'll get a couple of these too. They have thick ones, but I don't think we need the thick ones. I think those are actually too thick. We'll go with these. Right, Paul? Everything's fine. Okay. That's not going anywhere. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Shit. Here we are back in the garage. I did a bit of setup over on this side, and I know the most unsightly thing right now is that computer that's up there. I know, this this is not ideal. It's leaning up against the wall, though, and we're using, like, full-on, like, three-inch construction screws that are going into studs down here, so I'm not at all concerned about uh, the shelf not being strong enough to support it. That said, just trying to round things out here and make things look as upgraded and pleasant as possible, we have a couple more steps. The big acoustic foam panel back here, uh, let's wall mount that. That's gonna be pretty easy. But before that, uh, I wanna put some drawers up here. And I actually have some cool drawers I wanted to show you. Out here in the living room, this corner has become like our Lego corner. I've got a couple shelves up there. Uh, yes, we have lots of Harry Potter Legos, which is fun. Uh, we've been collecting these mostly since last year, and the collection has expanded. A big part of this was because I discovered BrickLink, but I also love uh, building Legos with my daughter, which is cool. But storing the Legos and storing them like in a sort of sorted way has been a challenge. I actually built this box here out of several crates added some hinges so it can actually open up and we can store a bunch of this stuff in there. These are the Acro Mills drawers that are very popular for uh, sorting Legos and I can actually slide like three of those in there so we can fit a lot of this stuff 
into that box to sort of contain it in the corner. But these drawers over here are actually the ones that I really like. My daughter has been helping me sort here and also label the drawers too, which is cool. I like these drawers because the drawers themselves are sort of clear. You can see through them. They're a bit more rigid plastic versus the uh, sort of soft and semi-opaque plastic uh, on those drawers. They've still got spaces for separators so you can organize stuff a bit better and it's like a modular system. So the grooves that are here in the top and the side and the bottom can engage with other drawers that are adjacent and you can make a big grid and they all sort of stick together in one big unit. Although this one's getting pretty heavy because it's getting pretty full. The set right here I actually ordered on AliExpress because I was having a really hard time last year finding these specific style drawers available at a place like Amazon or anything like that. Thankfully though, there are actually a lot more that are available now on Amazon versus last year. So I bought this set, which is a set of nine, and these are actually a little bit deeper than the, the drawers over there with the Legos. And they're not on the same rail system, so I can't connect these up with those drawers that I already have. What I did do was order four boxes of these, and they come in a set of nine. And then I was actually sent nine boxes instead of four, so a bank error in your favor. But I certainly do not mind at all. The plan now is to set some of these up out in the garage. I even still put the lightsaber up on top. All right, so that doesn't look too bad. Uh, may I might extend that. I don't know. I could I could make it wider and add a few more if I wanted. But for now, I can actually put stuff in those drawers rather than having it. Well, actually, this area is not too bad right now. But you know, like all this stuff that ends up collecting either on my desk or on the work table over here. To round things out though, and get us to some sort of a conclusion for this video, uh, let's go ahead and mount this acoustic panel back to the wall. It's mounted to the wall. It's not perfect. This thing was never perfect and it's been manhandled and stuff So some of the foam panels are not staying on as well as they used to but this is intended to be another like semi-permanent solution I am planning on changing this background area just a little bit a little bit further down the line For instance, I have a refrigerator that I think I might want to put right down here But for the time being this is way better than it was. I relocated my plants. Um, these are not real plants, but Made sort of a bit of a jungle over here in the corner. I don't know. This, this is working for me for now. Although I think I need to take this and like, oh, look at that cable right there. Oop. Fixed. We did end up shimming up the uh, left side here a little bit so it would be a little bit more level. But overall, I think that's looking good. I think the shelf is looking great and also functional. I now get to start to like put some more stuff away like these motherboards. Start populating these drawers with useful stuff that I want to have easy access to. And overall, just continue to work on my set and my workspace here to make things more functional, more usable, and ideally make them look nice too. My plan is to continue documenting these upgrades and the work I'm doing out here in the garage in sort of this garage work log type format. I will have a next installment coming up probably in a week or two covering the build and assembly of that large overhead softbox that you saw us gathering materials for today. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, just following us along as we get some work done and make some upgrades on the set out here in my garage. And if you did enjoy it, hit the thumbs up button and let us know because that always helps. Also, subscribing to my channel is a great way of getting notified whenever I post new content. You can do that down in the video description and check the video description for a few links to some of the stuff that I showed off today, including these pretty cool drawers that I just set up. Closing reminder to check out my store at paulsharbor.net for shirts, mugs, pint glasses, and all manner of high quality merchandise. And thank you guys one last time for watching this video. We'll see you all in the next one.